In a maritime college, a deck cadet often wonders as to what his, her duties exactly are. Though there is no specific guidelines or deck cadet job description. The common answer to this intriguing question at college is that a cadet must assist the deck officers in the day-to-day -day operations of the vessel. It is therefore important that deck cadets have a general overview of the duties that are performed when on board ships. Of course, these are general guidelines and the jobs may vary from ship to ship. As I experience on my first contract, I'll share with you the 10 important duties that are required to be performed by deck cadets on almost every type of ship. Let's get started. Paperworks. All seafarers will agree that paperwork has increased many times over, and so has the stress and irritation that comes with it. A cadet is expected to be a helping hand to the chief mate when it comes to the different checklists, familiarization lists, key logs, etc. Ship's navigation. Perhaps the most important aspect of being a deck cadet, navigation is the very purpose that the ship is in business and officers' ratings are employed. Not having a valid certificate of competency COC, a cadet is naturally not allowed to keep a bridge watch independently. However, under the guidance and supervision of a certified officer, almost always it is the chief mate, a cadet is expected to learn the science and art of navigation, which would eventually help him in becoming a successful deck officer. Theoretical knowledge of the coal regs, celestial navigation, bridge equipments, seamanship, chart work etc. all culminate into this one grand attempt at safe navigation of the vessel. Normally, the chief mate takes time out during the bridge watches over 1800 and 1600 to 2000 to teach a cadet about the ongoings in the bridge and also tests his knowledge he has received during his deck cadet course on myriad aspects of the merchant. Navy. Gradually, the chief mate and eventually the master develops a trust factor provided the cadet is worth the salt, which enables them to delegate work to the cadet. As daunting as it may seem, cadetship actually is the most fun part of one's shipping career. With no responsibility at hand and not being answerable under legal bindings. Cadetship is the time to learn and imbibe. Everyone that has gone through will look back at their time fondly except the extreme cases and with pride. Donning the uniform as a young 20-something is a matter of respect. Provided a cadet is diligent in his duties, he can be assured that he'll be respected by all on board and the time he spends as a cadet will be full of lifelong memories. Pilotage Operation A cadet's role during pilotage varies with the time he has spent on board. Initially, a cadet assists the ratings in rigging the pilot ladder and lowering the gangway for the pilot to board. Along with other related processes during pilotage, the process also involves learning, firsthand, the precise construction of the pilot ladder as per regulations important when appearing for the second mate's examination. Gradually, once the master deems the cadet to be relatively well-versed with the vessel's operations, he is called on the bridge to assist the duty officer with the different pilotage paperwork. Birthing and unbirthing operations. When a vessel goes alongside or casts away, it's normally all hands on deck, 
the entire deck populace is present at their respective stations to get the vessel to berth, cast off close to perfection. A cadet starts out at the stations as a sort of a rating, doing mainly the physical work. As time goes by, an experience is gained. His job switches to more of a supervisory nature, wherein the cadet is expected to relay the orders of the master to the ratings, ensuring that the operation runs smoothly and in order. LSA, FFA Maintenance. Thorough maintenance of the life-saving appliances LSA and firefighting. Appliances FFA is extremely important, generally a part of the third mate's duties and responsibilities. This work is assigned to the cadets so that they learn the procedures of noting down expiry dates. Carrying out repair work, checking for any defects, emailing the company for ordering new products, etc. In the process, a cadet ends up learning a great deal about how each equipment functions and also a lot about the lifeboats, lifer rafts, pyrotechnics, solace regulations, etc. All such information ends up being extremely useful when appearing for the second mate's examination. Additionally, one of the most important equipment on board when it comes to firefighting and entering enclosed spaces is that SCBA self-contained breathing apparatus. A self-contained breathing apparatus SCBA, sometimes referred to as a compressed air breathing apparatus Cabo or simply breathing apparatus BA, is a device worn to provide breathable air in an atmosphere that is immediately dangerous to life or health. As cadet, you will assist third mate for inspection and at the same time checking the pressure fits in 290 to 300 bars as per solace regulation. Port work can cargo operations. Being a trainee officer slated to sail as a third mate upon completion of the training period, a cadet is expected to be vigilant while in port. Work in port includes assisting the third mate with paperwork, bond store, crew declaration, etc., i.e., keeping them stamped, signed, and ready with a fair number of photocopies. Watches also have to be kept in port. This includes monitoring the cargo being loaded. Unloaded involves noting down precise timings of the start and end of loading, unloading, every time it happens. Normally, the cadet is made responsible to keep a tab on the tank soundings with continuous feedback to the duty officer on the portable VHF handheld. Walkie, talkie. You can clean one part while the generator is running. Daily toolbox meeting, deck work, near miss. Assisting the ship's bosun in everyday deck work is embedded into any cadet's daily schedule. This is basically grounding work, seemingly unimportant at the start, but builds the framework for the coming years as an officer. Work on deck including chipping, painting, grinding, etc. is carried out to maintain the structural integrity of the deck, along with some rope work e.g. splicing that gives cadets the right aspect towards good seamanship. Also, as all cadets will tell you, the job of stenciling various parts on deck is the universal designated duty of a cadet. Ship's maintenance. All cadets who have served on board will know that an area within the ship is designated to the deck cadet for maintenance and upkeep. Generally, one deck or a part of it of the superstructure is assigned to the cadet. Maintenance of that includes overall cleanliness and reporting of any abnormalities within the area.
Now we are going to replace the navigation and tech electrical equipment room here. No, so the purpose of this uh, fire and safety rounds is you know there's a mechanical failure. Safety and security rounds alternate for ISPS watch. A very integral part of the port watch, an ISPS watch is pivotal to the security of the ship. With the norms pertaining to ship security getting stringent by the day, the ISPS watch has become one that has to be taken rather seriously. So, space to be inspected like this, the cable truck. So again, replace red from green. A cadet is normally assigned to monitor the entry and exit points of the vessel, usually stationed at the gangway. It is expected from a cadet to keep a log of all the persons entering and leaving the vessel. This includes all shore personnel as well as the ship's crew going on shore. Leave. IDs must be checked and logged in the ship's visitor's log. If such a system exists on board differs from company to company, A ship's number ID must be provided to keep a track of the person even more precisely. Bags and suspicious objects must be checked thoroughly. A cadet, being an officer in the making, is also expected to usher in various officials PSC surveyors, coast guard, medical, health inspectors, etc. to the ship's office. Uh, what to use during the cargo loading and discharging operation. So next is the deck office, a deck office. Informing the duty officer of the particulars of the person being brought in is crucial and comes naturally after having spent enough time on board. TS, for tank soundings were not able to take picture on main deck since our vessel is tanker ship. Prohibited to take or bring camera outside the superstructure. But I will explain to you what is this. Tank soundings. Almost all deck cadets are asked to check tank soundings on a regular basis, generally taken after the 04800 watch before or right after breakfast. Soundings are very crucial for ensuring the stability of the vessel. The fact that the ship's stability is dependent on the total ballast being carried makes a deck cadet realize the high level of responsibility given to him. That's all I hope you gain some tips and ideas of what are the duties of deck. Cadet onboard ship has what I've showed to you in a simplest way. And before I end this video, I just want to say thank you to all people and subscriber who supports my channel as a small YouTuber. Keep sharing and God bless.